fellas. Look at those rocks. They're huge. The tin woodman and the scarecrow walk toward the rocks, but the lion is suspicious. He sniffs the air. Smells bad. There's something behind those rocks. Oh, lion. You're just scared. Come on. The scarecrow and the tin woodman walk nearer the rocks and nearer. Suddenly, up shoots an ugly flat head. Another head pops up, then another. Oh, please. Look out, everyone. But it's too late. The hammerheads attack. First, they strike the scarecrow. Oof. Then, pound the tin woodman. Next, they'll attack Dorothy, but the lion protects her. Stay behind me, Dorothy. Oh, I knew there would be trouble. I, I just knew there would. Now, the hammerheads surround Dorothy and the lion. Oh, lion. The lion crouches. One hammerhead comes in close and strikes, but the lion seizes its long neck in his jaws and flings the hammerhead back. Another hammerhead strikes, and another, but the lion bravely flings them all back and then lets out a fearsome roar. And the hammerheads flee in terror. Oh, lion, you saved us. You're so brave. And strong. And loud. No, it was really nothing. If they only knew how scared I was. Dorothy and her friends walk on towards the stone mountain. But the wicked witch is furious. She puts on the magic golden cap and summons the dreaded winged monkeys. The frightful creatures that fly in great flocks and pounce on their victims from the sky. Winged monkeys, winged monkeys, come! They come by the hundreds, darkening the sky and gathering around the evil witch. Winged monkeys, go! Seize Dorothy and her friends and bring them to me. Careful with the girl, she wears the magic silver shoes. But do what you wish with the others. Now go and don't fail me. The dreaded monkeys rise into the dark hair and fly towards Dorothy and her friends. They strike so quickly there's no time to escape. They seize the scarecrow and rip out his straw. Help my straw. Then they drag the tin woodman into the sky and drop him onto the rocks below. Then they tie up the lion. Don't let me alone, you, you disgusting creatures. Finally, the winged monkeys seize Dorothy, Toto, and the lion and fly back to the wicked witch. Well, well, look who's here. Little Miss Dorothy. Well, you're going to get a lesson now. What are you going to do? Well, your friend the Scarecrow and that tin woodman are already in pieces at the bottom of the mountain. As for your lion here, I lock him up in a little cage and use him for hauling stones. Oh, good grief. How embarrassing. As for you, Dorothy, and your dog, I lock you both into my cellar. There you'll scrub floors every day. Scrub, scrub. Ah! <laughs> the witch locked the poor lion in a small cage, then pushed Dorothy and Toto down into a big dark cellar. This is where you will stay. Now get on your knees and start scrubbing. The witch left. Dorothy took a bucket and brush and began to scrub. The days went slowly. Every night, Dorothy's hands and knees were sore, and she would crawl into bed, crying herself to sleep with Toto in her arms, thinking she would never get to Kansas now. Nobody knew why, but the witch always carried an umbrella, and sometimes she would threaten to beat Dorothy with it. But not once did the witch harm Dorothy. Dorothy, you see, was safe because she had been kissed by the Good Witch of the North, and she wore the silver shoes. Now the Wicked Witch wanted the silver shoes for herself because of their great magic power. One day, when Dorothy was down scrubbing, the witch reached out with the handle of her umbrella and stole one of Dorothy's silver shoes. Ah! Give me back my shoe! No, it's mine now. No, it's not. You stole it. And someday I'll steal the other one. Give it back! Ah! <laughs> Give it back or I'll... Or you're what? Or I'll throw this bucket of scrub water on you. Put down that bucket. Why? You afraid of a little water? Put down that water, Dorothy. You are afraid of water. Put it down! I say. So that's why you carry an umbrella, so you won't get wet. 
don't throw that water on me. Why not? Let's see what will happen. No, don't. No, look what you've done. Indeed, an astonishing thing was happening. The witch was melting like ice. See what you've done? Didn't you know water would melt me? Gosh, no. I'm really sorry. Oh, what good is sorry? I'm melting away. But I am sorry. Oh, it's too late. Here I go. And the wicked witch disappeared. And all that was left was a small puddle of water. <laughs> <laughs> 